This is super creepy. They're not making any sounds. Hello everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. And we're on the uh, the latest snapshot with which is uh, 19W12B. They made some updates and, and uh, bug fixes on the villagers. So and and they're tweaking some of the things. I'm still a little concerned about a few things, but um, I had heard that they fixed the farming thing. Let's see if anybody plants. Hi. Did I? Okay. Is is there something wrong with the sound, or did I screw that up? Um, options, music and sounds. Music off. Huh. So some stuff's making sound, like I can hear the the minecarts. Oh, it's weird. This is creepy. Well, it is a snapshot. That's all fine and dandy. No one's planting. But you still have an eye patch. So there wasn't much uh, that I intended to check out here. I did want to see, see these guys are both in, well, they were both in breeding mode and they had the little love, ah, uh, love uh, particles, but I see no babies. And I don't know how the breeding is supposed to work. Um, and that may just not be implemented yet. I don't know. <coughs> so anyway, um, they they made some tweaks to iron golem spawning, which should help with the, uh, the iron farm situation. I am a little concerned about these guys and the way they work. Um, in order to unlock this trade, this guy needs to get access to his workstation. <laughs> so with the, the with the librarians, that would be the would be the lectern. And they don't actually need to be able to touch it, I believe. They just need to be able to see it or something like that. <laughs> or they have to get it within proximity. That's that's I'm I'm having trouble telling. Um, and they can refill, they can sort of restock, as it were. So he's not refusing to trade. He's just out of, out of, uh, he's full on paper or he's out of emeralds. I don't know what. Like, he'll, he'll take books. But anyway, he just won't take any more um, paper because he's, oh, what, wait, 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 what did it say? Paper, villagers restock up to two times per day. So he needs to be able to go to his lectern and get more and deposit the paper, I guess, or something along those lines. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to have to redesign these these stalls. And, I mean, the guys that I have in minecarts, super convenient, because um, I'll be able to, like, move them around easily. But then I have a bunch that are not. They're the older ones, and it it just occurred to me later on in the process that I could just leave them in the minecarts. So, I like your hat, buddy. So anyway, I will need to go and go through the hassle of making a bunch of minecarts and and putting all these guys into minecarts so that I can move them as needed. And there is only one, like, I believe, the, let's find out, the glowstone behind his head here I believe is this piece of glowstone. So it's three in one, two, three, one, two. Yeah. So I can't one pos one thought I had was like, well, this guy's a librarian. Maybe I can put the lectern in the wall behind him. But then if I put somebody over here, they'll have a lectern right there could work if I make sure I put a librarian in there, but I, I want some flexibility. 
I wonder if I could get him to restock. I wonder if I could fix this guy now. What block do these guys, and he's not in a minecart. Okay. Let's, uh, maybe we'll do one little test here. Didn't have a lot of plans today. Um, oh, hi, buddy. So, what am I holding here? I'm holding rotten flesh shulker boxes, and then paper. Okay, that'll work. Actually, we can put this paper away. Um, okay, so. Blop. This guy's a cleric. He has completely locked up. But let me, uh, let me go grab some stuff here. Okay, so I've got some rail running into this guy here. I don't want him running away making a bolt for it. So we'll do this, which will keep him relatively contained. And then I've got a minecart, which I can put down here and push in towards him. Oh, he gets right in. Oh, that's a change. Oh, that's nice. Because uh, in 1.13, they don't, uh, that won't happen. They won't. Rolling a minecart into the villager doesn't actually uh, help. You have to... Um, you have to actually kind of... I don't know, it's complicated. Okay, so if I move you out here, you'll sit there for me for a little bit, right? I want to get rid of that rail. And so this block here... Do we know what workstation the clerics use? Let me go find out. So it turns out that the clerics workstation is a brewing stand. So it's not one of the new, well, oh, there it is. Uh, it's not one of the new uh, crafting blocks. So I think if I go and put a brewing stand in here like that, and then close that and push him back in here. And I have trap doors. Up. And I push him in. No. Oh. Come on. I don't care if you're at an angle. That also appears to be a relatively new behavior, and I could do that. Okay, good. <clears throat> and the reason I've, I've been putting two trap doors is this should block the baby zombies from getting through here, I think. Um, and uh, it also will, it keeps them completely trapped in. Um, and I can open up one of them if I need to sort of crouch in or whatever. And then if I come over here, Yep, see, you can see the brewing stand there. So let's, I don't know if that will actually cause him to resupply. And if he only resupplies at certain times a day. Or if it's random, I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. Uh, and I used up another... Uh, a minecart. And a trapdoor. So, you can see. Hi. This should be him. He's still locked up. Um, it seemed like the, the example that I saw of a sort of new version iron farm, um, these guys had their, their appropriate workstations were kind of uh, 
under glass even so that they couldn't even get anywhere close to it they couldn't actually touch it but they could just get close to it and that seemed to be sufficient so i don't know if having him in the rail uh in the minecart will make a difference these guys of course i could put thing and they, they don't there's nobody behind them there's not another row of villagers here uh the this row of paddocks i could expand out i could move this so that this comes out oh it's so creepy this comes out to here i have room this line here is where the edge of the village is up through 1.13 uh but because they removed the door mechanism and all of that stuff um, the village doesn't have a radius anymore. It's just kind of there are villagers there and I wonder if I need to put a bell in and I don't even know what the crafting recipe is for the bell But maybe I should put a bell in under here These are still not planted which means these guys aren't doing their thing So maybe I put a bell in up here like I could put it right here um, <clears throat> Yeah I don't know. Oh, this was interesting. I, the poisonous potatoes are all green and they got little the little sprouts growing from them, which is kind of funny. So anyway, uh villager situation has not changed much. Even though I thought they had made some tweaks to things. And it seems like Mo Yang is working on the iron the iron golem spawning situation. Because they don't want a village like this getting too many iron golems. Uh, but they also don't want to completely irritate all the people who have iron farms that are now going to stop working. So, I don't know. We'll see how that ends up happening. We will keep an eye on it. I do like the cleric's cloak with the, the creeper face. Okay, I think that's all we have for this at the moment. It's really weird. There's nobody in. There's like no mobs here at all. In the Nether Fortress, like anywhere. Back on the server, and this is 1.13. Oh, there's okay. There's a blaze. There's something, huh? That was weird. Okay. So here we are back on the server. Enough monkeying around in the snapshot. And we're back in 1.13.2. And... I don't have any food. Why don't I have any food? I should have food. We're going to have to fix that. I'm starting to get hungry. Okay, well, I'm going to go home... I believe I have I have all the stuff I need there to make more golden carrots. It's just a little unusual. I must have accidentally dumped the food into a chest or something. I guess the mob farm is still working. So here we are back with an actual iron golem farm. The accidental iron farm is still doing its thing. Um, and the villagers are farming. Everything seems so normal here. And I've got, I've got supplies to make myself some food. Yeah, so grab some carrots. I've got gold upstairs. And let's go do that. So I didn't have anything planned to do on the server here, uh, except maybe to go check out the amusement park area. There's been some progress over there. 
And so let me get some food and we'll go check that out. Oh, iron farm, soon to be defunct. Now the sound's not working again, but that kind of happens with the elytra. But over here, we should have the amusement park. And if we come in over... Oh, that's right. So the gumball machine here has a There's a spot here where the rail can go down. The rails haven't been placed yet, but it'll come down here into this gigantic. Okay. Ow. Into a gigantic slime farm. So this is, uh, Bar Makes Things has been just digging this out. Doing her thing. And it's a pretty, pretty big area that she's dug out now. Um, yeah, this is pretty crazy. So we were talking about what to do with this. And I think we're going to try and build some stuff on the inside. This is an amusement park. And so I think we might uh, try and build some rides like a Disneyland. Ow! Disneyland style rides like Pirates of the Caribbean on the inside. I think that would be cool. Go. So many of these things. So one of the changes in the in the 1.14 snapshot, and it looks like they might walk it back a little bit, is that they wanted to turn glass into a solid block, which has whoops. Hey. Um, which has a nice side benefit in that you can place redstone on it, but it has the downside. Did I put that in the wrong place? I think I did. Has the downside of um, you. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't block mob spawns anymore. <laughs> um, again, they might. They might be changing that. I don't know. Um, it also meant that when you put a mob set inside of glass, it would suffocate, which. I guess makes sense, but then there's a lot of contraptions that are kind of built on built on that not happening, so it's hard to say. Whew. Yeah, there's a lot of space down here. And she just keeps digging it out. Lots of fun. Uh so that's I think that's about all I have. Oh, um, Two things. So I have uh, next next Monday, a uh, week from week from when this will be released. I have my sort of callback audition for the Magic Castle. Um, I went and did a performance for Chihuahua Power G's aunt and uncle over the weekend. I think that went pretty well. Um, so I think. I, I think I can, I think I'll be okay. Um, there are a couple things that I need to sort of spend the next few days working on, focusing on, and uh, just practicing in general. And then uh, that will be, I'll be, hopefully I'll be ready for that. And hopefully that is successful. We will see. Uh, and then we have... Uh, MS Walk is the following weekend, or Walk MS, whatever they're calling it these days, is the following weekend. And I'm happy to say that my fundraiser has reached just over $1,500. And it's, I only put it up about a week ago, a week and a half, two weeks, uh, not that long ago. And I've already halfway to my $3,000 goal. Um, so that is super exciting. I will put a link to the fundraiser page 
in the description in the event that you are interested in pledging money to the fundraiser. Um, oh, there's a horse with, oh no, oh, Lucy. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll be, the, that'll be good. The MS Society, it, all the money goes directly to the National MS Society. And they are, they're a good charity. They help provide support for people living with MS. And they also uh, are fund research for a cure and do political lobbying for health care, improved health care for people with MS and others. But, you know, like trying to um, ensure coverage for people with pre-existing conditions and such. Uh, so that's, and 80% of the money that is donated to them, uh, goes to non-fundraising activities. Ooh, we got some iron. <clears throat> Which means they don't squander their fundraising, uh, they don't, they don't spend a lot of their money on, oh, this has been busy. Uh, they don't squander a lot of their money on things like, uh, you know, salaries and, and whatnot. So they're a good charity. Well worth your money if you're so inclined. Um, and that's why I will be walking to support them and raise, raise money uh, in, in a couple weeks. And I think that's, I think that that is it. Sun's going down here. I don't have a bed. I don't remember last time I slept. So I might just hightail at home. And, uh, grab some of this iron because, uh, frankly, I need to make iron ma rail carts, mine carts for all those villagers in my, uh, if, uh trading hall. So. I'll go and grab some of that and we'll do that and hopefully I can get home without being slain by phantoms so There we go. All right, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft land party And I'll see you next time. Right, bye